Justin here and in this short video depending on how long I decide to take I wanted to dive a little bit deeper and give a closer look at this this beautiful beautiful prop replica a one-for-one -one skill from the noble collection of my Jumanji board game so gonna hop right into it I'm sorry about the quality I am an unprofessional douchebag so I am apologize so let's turn this bad boy around and open her up shall we yeah look at that it is so beautiful I am a huge huge fan of Jumanji I have loved it ever since I was little and I have always wanted a life-size scale of this amazing this amazing thing from an amazing movie that I love I am a huge fan of Robin Williams and Jumanji just happens to be one of my favorite movies that he's played in it is just amazing so right over here we're gonna all right, before I do that, I'm just going to go on record and say that I've watched a lot of YouTubers do videos on this. And I'm just going to go out there and say right now that no, these side pieces, these uh, warning labels, no, they are not in the right spot. They're facing the right way, but this needs to be right here. And this one needs to be right here if people would pay attention they would know this if they actually watched the actual movie because for some reason they have these like this because it's how it was in the newer Jumanji movies I don't know why they did it that way in the new movies but anyway so yes Jumanji a game for those who seek to find a way to leave their world behind you roll the dice to move your token doubles gets another turn and the first player to reach the end wins and over here, adventurers beware, do not begin unless you intend to finish. The exciting consequences of the game will vanish only when a player has reached Jumanji and called out its name. Now, I first off, a complaint of mine, there's only like two or three. I went over one of them, it's the warning labels. But the second one is this center glass dome. I don't really like how it comes off. Yeah, that's one of the cards that came with the game. You know, yeah. It's one of the uh, trap cards. Basically, you're stuck in the jungle until a person rolls five or eight. It would have actually been nice if it actually said, in the jungle, you must wait until a play until someone rolls five or eight. But yeah, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> I have it that I have it right here, not only to cover up this. TM trademark logo, but just because I love the whole swirly twirly effect that it gives, like at the beginning of the movie, and whenever uh, whenever Alan Parrish finally made it to the center, it, it said Jumanji, then whoosh, whoosh, and then went back away. So what I want to do is pop open this, just like in the movie. It's freaking amazing. Now, I wanted to go over the tokens. Here we have the elephant, which belonged to Alan Parrish in the movie. It's really awesome. Then we have the rhinoceros, or rhino, which belonged to Sarah Whittle. Now, yes, I've watched a lot of people do videos on this, and I can say for a fact that if you look at the right part of these tokens, do a focus. I don't think it's going to focus, but you can see like almost like they were it was 3D printed, and you can see where it was kind of put together. Now you can kind of see it down there in a way. Kind of see it down there at the bottom. 
Then we have the Monkey. Now, I wanted to go over these because this is actually my least favorite piece. Belong to Peter. Now we have my favorite piece, the crocodile. I love this token for many reasons. I love how it feels because all four of the tokens feel different in the hand. I love how the lights just shine off of it and make it look so, just so live-like, so, so shiny. And you can kind of feel energy in these tokens. This one just makes me feel really happy. Compared to the monkey, it feels so lifeless. I never really had a favorite token growing up and whenever I started my collection, but now I do. Now, the monkey was my second critique or complaint because it just feels so lifeless and plus there's the warning labels. But the dice is another critique of mine or complaint, whatever. Because these are not how they looked in the movie. The dice in the movie were more square looking. And plus for the six on the dice, it didn't look that way. But yeah, this is more like an overview of it. Other than that... The fact that the center dome is movable, there's no and there's no lights and sounds. There was lights and sounds for the miniaturized Jumanji board game, just not for this one. And I can kind of understand why for like cost cutting measures, but I still kind of wish that they would have done something with it. So, but yeah, I really, really love this piece. Now, for people out there wondering. Is this worth it? Yes, this is really worth it. The Noble Collection, they're known for their Harry Potter stuff and everything. But I believe that this is going to be something that they're going to be talked about for a real, real long time. So, other than that, the dome, the warning labels, the dice, lights and sound. And this is just for me, but you don't feel really any energy <laughs> in this monkey. Now when I was talking about energy, I could feel just happiness in a childlike feeling, like feeling young again from from Judy's piece, from Alan's piece. I can feel brave, strong from this piece. Now for Sarah Whittle, the rhino, I pick up a feeling of, of anxiousness, of almost like stubbornness, but a strong backbone also. But like I said, nothing from Peter's piece. Maybe if it looked a little bit more screen accurate, maybe. But just dull, boring, and it's a feeling of not being there. But anyway, so there we go. This is my overview and just my thoughts and opinions on the Noble Collection Replica Jumanji board game. So, final thoughts, would I recommend this? Yes, a thousand times I would recommend this. I bought this for almost 150 on Noble Collections website. And I guess if I had 
one more critique about this or complaint, it would just be this Van Pelt part. I've seen a lot of people in videos complain, not so much, but complain about Van Pelt. Like here in the beard area and the fact that I never noticed this before, but now I do the white across his hunter cap is supposed to be like a almost like a brown or a blackish kind of color but I really don't care about that and plus if you wanted it to be like 100% accurate the faux button on each side is not here but other than that yep that is my uh, review or overview of my Jumanji replica board game so yeah